Hey, hey, what's good, guys? Q here from Cute Animations bringing you another tutorial. Today, we're gonna be making a 3D puzzle. Check it out. New York City. Stay to the New end City. to see some special uh, content. Some people be asking me, how do I come up with some of the things that I'm working on personally? Well, I don't sleep much, so I'm usually thinking and reading and learning. And so I try to apply that to a visual standpoint. When I have something in my head, I need to put it down. And uh, so I'll start to create. Man. You saw right there, I highlight the fact that I saved as Illustrator 8. Well, this is important when you import it into Maya because it won't register any other uh, version of Illustrator. So you need to save it as Illustrator 8. Uh, in order to import that and to convert that into a curves. Once you bring it in, now it's time to do a little housekeeping and clean up uh, the items that you do want that you don't want, scaling, things like that, because uh, it comes in really small. The scale is not uh, one to one converting from Illustrator to Maya. So it's a little clean up and you know your preference your personal preference also plays a part in here and it becomes relevant when we start to bevel this thing out you see here i use the bevel tool and so once you use it the first time uh if you hit control or command and g on your keyboard i use pc for my demos but uh it's control g uh, it's going to duplicate the last tool that you used. Make sure to be cleaning up your history on your project. Make sure you, you're always saving. Incremental saves are important so that you don't lose anything. All artists who work with this 3D software already know, man, crash, it can be right around the corner. Make sure you name your stuff, uh, all of your layers. Make sure all of that is accounted for because this can be 10, 20, 30, a thousand different uh, assets. And so if you have to try to figure out the name of it, man. That takes a lot of time away from you actually being efficient. And here I'm gonna start UV and mapping out the UV so that I can project any image I want over the subject matter, which are the puzzle pieces. I'm gonna go with a planner uh, mapping. Technique, this is just something that I use, I mean, by no means that this is the uh, industry standard. This is really uh, a quick tutorial. Usually I'll take more time to do it more in depth, but uh, for the sake of time, I just wanted to create something quick and clean. It's still gonna be clean. There's not gonna be any scratching. Uh, this is just a technique I use once I'm doing demos, um, but it's still effective and it works. See there, I apply uh, two maps on top of each other so that I'm able to grab the sides and the face of my project, of my models. So I'm scaling down the front, which is going to have a separate image from the uh, sides and back. Might not make any sense right now, but you will see in the end it's gonna work out and how I, I apply this. I'm always having this this uh, debate in my mind of how to convey certain, um, I guess, uh, imagery 
Um, and so UV mapping was one of the first things that I actually mastered uh, when I was in college. I mean, it was like it was like a puzzle of its own to me uh, originally. Go figure. Right. And so uh, when we had classes, I remember uh, a lot of the people like, did you UV map? How did you UV map? Because everyone was using automatic mapping and it sucked. So, yeah, I'm going to bring it out of Maya so that I'm able to take it into Photoshop and project whatever I need to on top of it. Hey, shout out to all the producers out there creating beats that we can use for these videos, man. This is a, a free beat called Infected Hard Bass. I can't remember the producer's name, but you can look it up. I'm not getting sponsored for this. I just wanted to show my appreciation. Uh, the first beat was um, was a beat I, I, I paid for. It's a fast piano. It's a, a trap beat, and flawless. Uh, so check them out man they got really cool content uh you can look it up on youtube or uh google it as you can see we have photoshop and i'm running into a bit of an issue trying to uh delete some of the black area uh the negative area the negative space and uh, you know that goes to show something that usually can be so simple can give you a hard time sometimes man and so um, I'm messing around with the tolerance uh, of the magic wand tool trying to get it out and the reason why I'm doing this is because I I'm gonna have to delete certain areas and I'm going to apply in uh, the image that is going to be wrapped around these areas and so my technique is to duplicate my uv map to delete the outside and to create a border so that uh, i have a flawless or seamless uh, projection and you'll see how this plays out in a second Most of us already know that doing proper UV mapping is one of the most time consuming parts of creating 3D content. And so you'll spend a little bit more time here, but it will pay off in a major way in the final compositions. All right, here's where I'm going to speed it up a little bit to siphon through some of this, uh, you know, the 
mundane part of this. Like I say, it can take a little time to build something out perfect. So I'm just going to spare you some of the time and speed it up just a little bit. So you bring in your picture to your model, but it comes up looking like this. Well, that's because you have to set the relationship um, for the map. See, each model has its own map. It's a default uh, map onto it. Well, we have to set the relationship for the new map that we created so that we can get the proper look that we're, um, we're going for. And so that's what I'm doing here. Next up, I'm setting up lighting and the camera so that I can finally render this thing out. Uh, after that, it's going to be animation. So there's, there's steps and steps to make this thing possible. Uh, I just wanted to give a brief overview and thank you for uh, sticking with me to the end. If you did, you are dope. Uh, I do ask uh, to help support this. Please like, share, subscribe, follow uh, for more great content. We got more to come. And I'm trying to grow this thing, man. Uh, Cute Animations is about family. We're about uh, education as well as entertainment. And so that's what we do. That's what I believe in. And that's what we do every single day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, check it out to the end, man. Hold up, this is Black History Month, right? Check this out.